Last time on The Choice, four celebrity bachelors each chose one woman to take out. Platinum-selling recording artist Taylor Hicks took his date, Sonia, to a hip-hop dance class where Taylor gave up his best dance moves and his phone number. World-renowned chef Rocco Despirito surprised his date, Lexi, by preparing her a meal out of his gourmet food truck. The candlelight setting was romantic, but there was no spark between these two. Football legend Warren Sapp and his date Shakira argued like an old married couple before tackling the karaoke stage and promising to keep in touch. And the strongest connection of the night goes to Jersey Shore star Mike the Situation Sorrentino, who cozied up to his date Laura over a romantic dinner. They've been texting ever since and may even meet up at the Jersey Shore. Welcome to The Choice. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Kat Dealey. to the choice we have four beautiful bachelorettes who are going to fulfill the fantasies of four lucky guys by taking them out on a dream date tonight it's gonna happen straight after the show here is bachelorette number one this stunning model walked the runway for Versace before landing Playboy's first ever 3D centerfold. She also starred in The Girls Next Door and was 2010's Playmate of the Year. Here is the incredibly gorgeous Hope Jurassic! <laughs> Hello! Hi. Let's meet our second bachelorette. This Australian race performer got her big break singing in the pop band Bardot. Her successful modelling career led her to Hollywood and roles in Click with Adam Sandler and Date Movie. Please welcome one of Maxim Magazine's Hot 100, it's Sophie Mung! <laughs> Hello, gorgeous Sophie. How are you? Awesome, Kat. OK, let's see who is in seat number three. This exotic beauty's travels brought her from Lebanon to America, where she was crowned Miss USA 2010. But this beauty also has brawn, battling it out to become a pro wrestler on WWE Tough Enough. Say hello to the stunning Rima Baki. <laughs> Hi, Rima. Hello. Let's take a look at our fourth and final celebrity. She first made waves on Baywatch, turned heads as a pussycat doll, and has appeared in dozens of films and TV shows. She stars in her own line of aerobic striptease DVDs and wrote the book How To Be Sexy. Night, Carmen. Let's hear it for our gorgeous bachelorettes, everybody. <laughs> Ladies, you're about to meet lots of handsome single men, and each of you gets to pick three of them for your dating pool. The only drawback is that your chairs will be facing the other way. If you like what you hear, pull your love handle and your chair will turn around. Get it? Yeah. Okay, let's turn the chairs. To bring out our first single guy, please welcome Grant. Feel out, come on! Hey, what's up, ladies? I'm a southern gentleman from a small town in Oklahoma called Sperry. I'm a self employed personal trainer. My family means my world. I would do anything for them. I gotta tell you, a lot of people tell me I look like Ricky Martin, but you know, I'm a way better looking, more athletic version. I love Ooh, to have a good sexy. time. If you're down to have fun, let's go. I like to party, have fun, meet new people, and wow, you girls Ten are beautiful. Seconds. I gotta say. Woo! Anyways, you should totally date me. You know why? Because you're not only gonna get a really good looking boyfriend, great arm candy, you're gonna get an amazing best friend. Ooh, well done. He does well look like Ricky done. Martin, doesn't he? He does. And I have a feeling you can shake your bonbon. Of course I can. Shake it. Let's see. Let's see. 
Let's see shake how you it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Turn around and shake it. It's, it's not bad. He didn't sound like a bad boy. Oh, he didn't sound like a bad boy. I and like bad boys. OK. Hope, why should Brant choose you? If you're from the South, you like food, and I like to cook. Ooh. I can't cook, so I go out to dinner a lot. I generally pay <laughs> because I, I go out with jerks, so it's a win-win-win. OK, Brant, who are you going to go for? You know, Sophie, you're beautiful. You know, I got to say, and the fact that you would pay, that's great. But I like to take care of my women. I'm from the South, so I got to go with Hope. OK. That's OK, too. OK, Brant, you are now part of Hope's dating pool. Let's hear from Brant, everybody. Thank you. Let's turn the chairs. Please welcome Shane. Sexy name. You have 30 seconds. Go. Aloha, ladies. I was voted as Hawaii's most beautiful man in 2012. As a war veteran in the United States Air Force, I traveled to 32 countries. 10 seconds. When you're with me, I'll treat you like my princess. I'll be your bodyguard, and I'll protect you with Come my on, life. Come on, sir. Yeah. <laughs> What made you turn around at the end? Carmen is so fussy. If someone's good enough for her, then she's Thank on a winner. You. I was probably going to go for Carmen anyway. OK. I know. I love a man that plays guitar. <laughs> but it's a very small guitar. <laughs> yeah. I also like a little bit bigger guitar, not too big. Can you play with a larger instrument? Oh, I do every night. OK, good to know. So, Shane, over to you. Who are you going to pick? Well, first of all, Carmen, I know you're looking for the psycho type, but I'm definitely not psycho. Okay. Oh. And Rima, I know you're looking for a bad boy, but I'm a good boy that can go bad. Oh. Can I choose again? <laughs> so, Sophie, I'm going to pick you. Chairs. Here is Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. Ladies, I come from the great state of Michigan. I played two college sports, and I'm an Army infantry officer in the reserves. I've served my country in Iraq. And I protected the president of the United States Secret Service, so I can definitely protect any of you. I have a bachelor's. I have a bachelor's in biomedicine with a concentration in nutrition. I've understudied with massage therapists and chiropractors, so I know how to rub your body the right way. So do it for your country and pick me. Okay, Rima and Sophie both turn around. So, Sophie, let's start with you. Why should he pick you? Because I'm very easy. Um... <laughs> I'm very easygoing. <laughs> I love a man in uniform and that can shoot a gun and shoots well. Thank you. <laughs> well, he says he protected the president, and as Monsieur say, hey. It's all down to you, sir. Who are you going to go for? That's his heart. You both are beautiful. Sophie, I've been a big fan. I've seen your movies. You're awesome. But my heart lies in Michigan. And oh. I have to do it. You're a Michigan girl, Rima, so I gotta go with you. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Gabriel Jones, Rima Stating Court. I'm going to send you off that way. Well done, sir. Okay, let's turn the chairs. And welcome, John. My name is John, I'm from the south of England, and I am a professional pastry chef. 
I've worked all over the world in a Michelin-style restaurant in London, a five-star hotel in Australia, and in a dive bar in Paris. Sorry. Two. I've seen it all. And I've traveled all over the world. I speak three different languages. I've been to 48 different countries. Ten seconds. And here's the kicker. I've been skinny dipping on all seven continents. I'd love to do it with all of you. <laughs> I really tried to hold back that time, but he had me at the accent first. Yes. It felt very familiar. The skinny dipping bit, I went a bit like... No. But, you know... Mima, what yeah. did it for you? I didn't notice the sideburns from back there, so if she wants... You're I'll passing begin. already. Sorry about that, sir. I'm just... The problem is, though, Rima, sorry, at know. this stage, you're not in control. John, Now it's... I have the power. Yeah, you have the power. Ooh, I like that. So, who are you going to go for, Rima or Sophie? Obviously, Sophie, you're my girl in this one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, so John is joining Sophie's dating pool. Thank you, John. Thank Ladies you. and gents, put your hands together for John. Ladies, I'm a young entrepreneur. I run my family's multi-million dollar luxury RV company. I'm a very driven individual. I was an Olympic qualifier for the 400 meter, and I also ran for the University of Florida. My family gave me one of the greatest gifts of my life, and I grew up on my family's yacht, and it taught me so many good values about how family is so important Ten to me. Ten seconds. Um, it's something that I want to experience with you, and I hope you give me the opportunity to show you what love is all about. Ooh, four, three, two. It that, that made you do it? I was almost braggy at first, and that's why I kind of held back. Confident. But you sounded really sweet, and I do like a man that's confident. <sighs> Ask me why I didn't turn around. Why? Why? Because I'm an idiot. You're hot. Oh. <laughs> you enter Carmen at Electric Dating Pool. Ladies and gents, RJ. Thank, Thank you. you. I love that way from the sweetie. Thank you, darling. The bachelorettes have only just begun to fill their dating pools, but once they've chosen three men, they'll face the difficult task of narrowing that group down to the one gentleman they'll take out on a fantasy date tonight. It's all coming up on The Choice. Look at where everybody is. Hope has one guy. Sophie has two guys. Rima, you've got one. <laughs> Carmen, you've got one. Okay, now it's time to bring out some more single gentlemen. So, let's turn the chess. Say hello to David. What do you want? I guarantee I got it. You want intelligence? I graduated from Yale University with an engineering degree. I currently work in New York City as a mechanical engineer. You like good looks? I got a smile that stops traffic and a body to match. Ten seconds. Chivalry is my name. Oh, doors. I pull out chairs. I always say my prayers. Hey, I got the looks to kill, Five seconds. the body to feel, and the skills to pay the bills. I'm your choice. Oh, okay. Sophie, you're not messing about, are you? The accent, I was like, he sounds like a cowboy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, you are part of Sophie's dating yeah, pool. Don't so... worry, I got your back. <laughs> Let's hear it for David, everybody. <laughs> Sophie, yeah. your dating pool is full. Oh my goodness. So you're now just in it for the ride, backwards and forwards. It's fun, this chair. I have yeah. to if it vibrated, it'd be even better. <laughs> Share, shall oh. we? Let's just turn them. Turn them. There we go. Okay, this is Garrison. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Hey, how's it going, ladies? My name is Garrison, but most of my friends call me Gerber because I have a really fun, loving, and bubbly personality. I'm very protective and very cuddly. 
My mom played professional bluegrass music, so I'm very well versed in Southern hospitality. And because of my grandmother, chivalry is not dead. It's totally a gay That's right. I'm also very outgoing. I'm a stand-up comedian, a huge goofball. And ladies, if you pick me, I smile 24-7. I get it. If you want to smile 24-7 and have a damn good time, you'll pick me too. Okay. I, I don't you. either. Too excited, like, too, talks too fast, but very sweet. Y'all missing out. Sorry, Absolutely. ladies. Absolutely. Put your hands together for Garrison. Did you say his name is Dare Bear? Yeah. Let's turn the chess. Here is Christopher. First of all, you are all gorgeous. I just had to let you know that right now. <laughs> it's all about you, baby. That's all I'm saying. And you have beautiful eyes. Thank you. So do you. I love you. Not for nothing. <laughs> I turned around because the audience told me to. I wish I didn't turn around because he's not my type. Okay, but that's okay. Rima, why should he pick you? I'm a former queen, but I'm from Queens. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. And what girl do you know could look like this and then throw on a Yankee fitted and some Retro 3 Jordans? How you doing, Grimm? <laughs> you just made this so hard for me. <laughs> okay, so, who are you gonna go for? I love you, Carmen. I love you. <laughs> okay, Christopher is joining Carmen's dating pool. Thank you, Christopher. Put your hands together for Christopher, please. Oh, Carmen, finally. Okay, let's turn the chairs. <laughs> Woo. Okay, say hello to Karim. I bet you ladies are wondering what I look like. Well, my name is Kermel Coley, and I get that from my Egyptian side. Hey, Rima, I heard you're Middle Eastern. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. I'm six feet tall, and I'm extremely athletic. On okay. my spare time, I like to write poetry. I actually wrote a poem for you ladies. Everyone has a different definition of love. Unfortunately, I cannot think of. For love is mean, and love is cruel. Ah! Okay, Carmen, you're from Egypt, I am. and I love belly dancing, and I would love shake to it. put on some finger symbols and <laughs> shake it for you. He's Egyptian, and yep. I don't know how to compete with that. All I can tell you is your parents will show up to the wedding if we get married. That's all I mean. <laughs> he knows what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Take hey. a chance. It's just such a hard decision. I've been such a big fan of Carmen Electra. And Rima, I'm from Queens, so I gotta go with the girl from Queens. I mean, it's just that simple. Come in, man, to Rima's dating pool. Thank you so much. You can make the same for it. Let's turn the chess. They're never gonna have women on the show again. Welcome, Marco. Ladies, the former athlete, six foot two, 220 pound, dreadlocked Thundercat. I'm half black, half Indian, 100% Blindian. Uh, I'm an event host. I host events all over the Ten world, from seconds. Thailand to the UK to here in the US. <laughs> from arenas to runways to... <laughs> Very, very last minute. What do you think? I think that I have a date tonight. Maybe, maybe. Hey. Absolutely. Marco, hey. thank you very much. He is part of Hope's team. Not many more to go now. Let's turn the chairs. Please welcome Andrew. My 
My nickname is Bear. Uh, basically a big, strong, muscular guy, but I'm also cuddly too, so I'd love to cuddle with you. I was a Division I athlete, soccer player, so I'm pretty fit. I got a nice butt, as I'm sure many of these ladies can tell you. Uh, I am also pursuing my MBA, so I'm not all just bronze, I'm brains as well. I also like to send flowers to my mom on special occasions, as well as if you pick me, I'll be your teddy bear tonight. Oh, okay. I changed my mind. Uh, you can't change your mind. I changed my mind. You can't change it. <laughs> There's no reverse, Carmen. I like dark guys. Yeah, I think you should choose Carmen. <laughs> She's so exotic. Like I She's can... definitely your woman. I could see. <laughs> please don't fight. Please don't fight over me. Please, please, please. OK, who are you going to go for? Are you going to go for Carmen, or are you going to go for Rima? Well, despite, <laughs> uh, you know, they're not super excited just yet. Exactly. They, I they, feel they, like... they need to take time to get to know I you. I feel like. To, uh, to change their minds, and uh, I will go with Rima. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Jerry, you. sir. You can head off stage. I can't spin anymore. No, your dating pool is full. Hope you gotta give her a competition. Okay, turn those chairs. And please welcome Nicola. I want to start off by saying that growing up on Maui, uh, I learned some key pointers on how to treat a woman from the two most important women in my life, my mom <coughs> and my sister. I love to cook. I especially love to bake. Some chocolate cake with some raspberry reduction. Treat you right. I'm a martial Ten artist. Seconds. I teach it for a living, so I can take care of you whenever you need it. Minute. Damn, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you sound really handsome, and you are. I liked when he said he could protect me, and I liked when he said he did martial arts, and I liked his voice. And I'm sweeter than Carmen. Ooh. Can't fight, but I'm better in the bedroom. <laughs> oh. Who are you gonna go for? Uh, it's a tough pick. It um, is. Carmen, you're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, what more could I really say? Hope, I, I'm speechless. I mean, wow. Um, Aww. Who are you going to get? I am going to have to pick... Carmen. Thank you very much, Nicholas. You enter Carmen's dating pool. Thank you so much. OK, Carmen's dating pool is now full, so Hope, you're the only one without three guys, so here's what's going to happen. We'll bring out two guys for you to choose from. Each one will have 15 seconds to win you over. You must pick one of the two. OK. Let's turn the chair. OK, now let's welcome Joe and Hermos. <laughs> Remember, you have just 15 seconds. Let's go. Hope, I'm the bad boy you've been waiting for all night. I'm the founder of my own vodka company, but as bad as I Ten am, seconds. I'm a sweetheart. I grew up with three older sisters taught me two important factors. Always be considerate of women, and I understand women very well. So if you want to pick someone, pick me. Ooh, OK. Joe, go. All right, Hope. My name is Joe. I'm from New York. I'm 25. I work at Victoria's Secret. I was raised by three women. Chivalry is certainly not dead in my book, and if you pick me, I promise I can show you how to have a good time. Uh, give me a shot. I promise I won't disappoint. Oh. OK, Hope, tell us which of these two handsome men you will be adding to your dating pool tonight. Ooh, um... I can't have somebody know more about lingerie than I know, so I'm gonna go with the first one. Okay, you are choosing her nose. Okay, turn your chair. <laughs> well, your dating pool is now complete. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for her nose. Thank you. Joe. Things happen. Things happen. Better luck next time. Thank you. Okay, next. 
Next up, it's the speed choice round. Find out who stays and who goes when we come back. have each filled their dating pools with three handsome men. Please welcome back a gentleman. Here's Hope's dating pool. We have Grant. Here comes Marco. And her nose. Please welcome Sophie's men. We have David. for you and your guys to get to know each other a little better. This is the speed choice round. You'll have 15 fast and furious seconds with each of your three men. Ask questions, answer theirs. Use this to learn as much about them as you possibly can. OK, let's turn those chairs. Bye-bye, ladies. Ooh. Ready, set, date. Are you a mama's boy? Of course, you know. Love my mama. Do you love your mama? OK. Yeah, she's all no, right. I'm kidding. Um, will you blow dry my hair? Absolutely. Would you run me a bath if I was working all day, and would you have it ready by the time I got home? Oh, if you needed it, maybe some candles, too. Blondes or brunettes? Definitely blondes. Oh, you just made that up. <laughs> How about yourself? Uh, I like uh, no hair, really. No hair, nice. Uh, that works. <laughs> Your dress is stunning, by the way. Can you dance? Absolutely. Oh, you show PG? Yes, I'd like to. <laughs> when was the last time you talked to your mother? Two days ago. You said you'd like to fight. If you could fight anybody, who would it be? Hmm, if you cheat on me, I'll fight you. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Oh, dogs. Uh, <laughs> how long was your last relationship? Two and a half years. Have you ever been married? No, but I'm always single. I'm ready for you. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Ooh, turquoise. What about you? Red. Ooh, I like that. So, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a rock star. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Did you cheat on your last girlfriend? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be a dentist. I don't a know. Dentist? What's your favorite color? Black and red. You're single. Absolutely. Have you done yoga before? Absolutely, but I'm terrible at it. Oh. But I would like to practice. What's your favorite position? My favorite position? In yoga. In yoga. Obviously, downward dog. It's the best. What's your favorite breakfast pastry? Because we might need it. Oh, I've got celiac disease, so I don't eat it. Well, that's fine. I make gluten free. <laughs> Have you ever been arrested? No. Um, if we were to wrestle, would you let me win? Yes. Boobs, but just... Oh, man. I'm gonna go with the... The butts. The butts. Do you want to have kids? Yes. How many do you want to have? Um, big family. Big we'll family. work on it. We had to steal one car. I knew we would not get caught. What would it be? Lamborghini. What color? Green. Oh, well, Just like your eyes, baby. <laughs> Where... <laughs> do you take to get ready? Five minutes. Why should I choose you? Because you've seen your choices already. <laughs> You're confident. A little. If you could be any Disney princess, who would you be and why? Oh, I don't even know what you said, but it was so sexy. <laughs> um, I, I think you said princess. If I could be a princess, I think I'd be Princess Jasmine, but blonde. Well, let's go on an adventure, baby. I got your carpet right here. Oh. I'm definitely funny. Tell me a joke. Why did chicken cross the road? Why? <laughs> You're a tough cookie. Would you go cliff diving him? I'll do anything as long as you pay my bills. I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> Ever been in the Middle East? Yes, I have. I was born in London. Outer space or underwater? Outer space, for sure. 
wanted to be an astronaut when I was a little kid, so fly you to the moon. Shark week. Shark week? Yeah. Oh, well. I'm down with the underwater thing, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my goodness. That was some crazy question. Hey, I got a carpet baby right here. I don't know what that even means. I don't know either. I liked it. Uh, OK, guys, I hope that was enlightening for you, because now you have to make a difficult decision of who to send home. It's all coming up on The Choice. <laughs> Now, you all need to make a difficult decision of who to send home. So, first of all, please welcome back Hopes, guys. We have Grant, Marco and Hermes. Hope, which one of these three sexy men will you not be taking out on a date tonight? Really hard. I can't choose. Um... Who did you not have a connection with in that round? I connected with you all. I can't just, um... <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> I'm sending home Hermos. Oh, Hermos. Thank you so much for taking the part. Let's hear it for Hermos. Thank you. Which means that Grant and Marco, you are going through to the next round. Congratulations. Thank you. OK, right now it's time to bring out Sophie's oh. guys. <gasps> Sophie. We have David, John and Shane. Oh, your voice is short. OK, Sophie, who are you sending home and why? I'd have to say... John, don't be offended, but I know that you're wearing those shoes to make yourself a little bit taller. If I took them off, could I stay? <laughs> Sorry, John. It did have to be you. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for John. Thank you, John. David and Shane, you are continuing on. Thank you very much indeed. OK, let's welcome Remus Jets. Come on out. Okay, Rima, who did you think is not a match for you tonight? I'm going to send on Gabriel because um, the eye contact. The eye there. contact. Gabriel was checking out my friends a little bit more. I got a little jealous. Was that true? They're all beautiful. Can you not look at them? Hey. I agree. Exactly. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much indeed. You two guys, you are carrying on with the show, so congratulations. OK, let's bring out our last group of men. Please send out Carmen's guys. Hi, we have RJ, Christopher and Nicholas. OK, Carmen, the time has come. Who will not be joining you for a date tonight? Wow, um... I'm going to eliminate RJ. RJ. OK, congratulations you to you two guys. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for RJ, everybody. Right for me in the parking lot. Guys, you are continuing on in the show. Congratulations. OK, next, it's the final choice round, where each of the ladies will make the dreams of one man come true. Coming up on The Choice. This is the final choice round. Each of our celebrities is about to make one man's dating dream come true. The ladies have each given me a question to ask their two remaining men. And their answers are very important because this round will determine who goes on a date and who goes home. OK, let's begin with Hope. You have the choice between Brant and Marco. Let's bring out Brant. Here's Brant. Hi, Brant. Here's the question that Hope wanted me to ask you. Hope is a playmate of the year and guys are constantly throwing themselves at her. Hope wants to know, if the two of you fell in love, 
how would you propose to her? I mean, you got to do something different, something not a lot of people have done. You know, I would probably, our, if our first date goes really well, maybe take something back to that, kind of tie it in however we really fell in love. You know, we got to make it sweet and keep it from the heart. Ooh, thank you, Bram. That was great. Let's bring out Marco. Hi, Marco. Now, I know we've had new hidden backstage headphones. You haven't heard anything that's been going on. So I'm going to ask you the same question that I just asked Brant. Hope wants to know, if the two of you fell in love, how would you propose to her? <laughs> I would make it as meaningful and as intimate as possible. Mm -hmm. I would take the things that I would learn about her and try to have them coincide. Probably somewhere real loving, by the water, something like that. Okay, fabulous. Thank you, Marky. Now, the decision, Hope, is yours. Which one of these two guys are you going to be taking out on a date tonight? Will it be Brant or will it be Marco? You have 10 seconds to decide. Let's. And the chair. Okay, Hope, time is up. Come and head up stage for me. Thank you very much indeed. It is time for you to make your final choice. Um... <laughs> I love my mom a lot, and when you told me you're a mama's boy, I know that if you're good to your mom, you'll probably be good to me. So, I'm gonna go with you. Okay, Marco, come and join me over here, my sweetheart. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for Marco. Thank you so much. Sophie, you have to choose between David and Shane, so let's welcome David. Hi, David. How you doing? I'm excellent. Good. Good, Fantastic. Good. Okay, are you ready? I am. Okay, good luck. Sophie once played Marilyn Monroe in a movie. Sophie wants to know, would you give her a little bit of your best celebrity impression? I really love Toy Story. Yes. So, um, there is a snake in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, there's a snake in his boots. I know, he said. I know. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, David. You can go and stand over there for me. Thank you so much. Let's see how Shane answers. Yeah. Welcome back, Shane. Hi, Shane. <laughs> Sophie wants to know, would you give her a little bit of your best celebrity impression? Oh, you ain't nothing but I don't know. He's helped us so much in this show. I know. Yeah. He's, he's gone for it, hasn't yeah. he? He's totally got... It's like well-oiled, yeah. it's lubricated. You clearly warmed up before this show. OK, thank you, Shane. Go and stand over there for me. Sophie, it's now all down to you. You have to decide which of these two guys you're taking out tonight. Will it be David? Will it be Shane? Let's turn the chair. All right. Your time is up. Come right. on, head up here. Make your final choice. Get your guy. All right. My choice is Shane. Put your hands together for David. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sophie and Shane. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Careful down the stairs. Okay, next up, Rima. Rima is about to make a choice between Karim and Andrew. OK, coming out, Karim! <laughs> Hello, sweetie. It's so exciting. OK, here's the question that Rima wants me to ask you. Rima competed in her first beauty pageant during college and her talent was belly dancing. Rima wants to know, if you were competing in a beauty pageant, what would your talent be and why? It'd be the way I walk. 
I, I would definitely say it'd be the way that I walk. I would definitely Prove have it. some swag in that. What? You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right, let's go. All right. Let's do the walk. Oh, the jacket's coming off. Oh. The spin, he's very serious about it, too. Yes. That was a 100% commitment. Go over there for me, my sweet. Now, please welcome Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Hello, sweet. OK, I have a question for you from Rima. Good luck. Thank you. Rima wants to know, if you were competing in a beauty pageant, what would your talent be and why? Well, I'm very talented in many ways. However, a lot of them might not be appropriate for uh, this show. Good answer. Oh, man. Not that you can see it, but I can do a lot of tricks with my tongue. <laughs> So, Does anyone have a cherry? Is it with a cherry? It could be. I don't know. You have to pick me to find out. So. Thank you very much, Andrew. Head over there. Rima, it's now time for your big decision. And we will hear it when we come back. Sophie have already chosen their dates, and now it's time to learn which of these very handsome men will be going out with Rima tonight. Will it be Karim, or will it be Andrew? You have ten seconds to decide, so let's turn the chair. Head on up here for me. It is time for you to make your final choice. Okay, go do it. Oh, the smell test. That's a good one, actually. That's a good test. Andrew, pick me up. <laughs> Are we going? Okay, Carmen, it's now time to make your big decision between Christopher and Nicholas. So I'm going to bring them both out. First up, it's Christopher. Come on out, Christopher. Hi, darling. Hi, come on Okay, Christopher, here's the question that Carmen wanted me to ask you. If she likes the answer, she's taking you out on a date. She's going to like the answer. Okay, here we go. Carmen really loves animals. Carmen wants to know. In your opinion, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be and why? I'd be a shark. <laughs> <laughs> he listens, he listens, he listens. Why? Why would you be a shark? To be honest, I have no idea, but I just... I know she likes sharks. <laughs> OK. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> uh, let's now welcome back Nicholas. Here comes Nicholas. Hi, Nicholas. Hello. OK, Nicholas, Carmen wants to know, if you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be and why? Um, I would absolutely be a dolphin, which is kind of funny since you like the whole underwater thing. I mean... Dolphins, extremely intelligent animals, and uh, they like to get down for fun. So. <laughs> they like to get down. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can go and stand over there. OK, Carmen, you've got 10 seconds to make your decision. Who are you taking out on a date tonight? Is it going to be Christopher? Is it going to be Nicholas? Spin it, baby. There you go. Come on up, 
Okay, lovely. Okay, Carmen, it's time to make your big decision. Okay, go do it. Your answer was very sweet. You know, dolphins are very spiritual. Some people would go with the shark. I thought you were gonna say you were gonna be the lion and I will be your lioness. That's sexy. That's sexy. It is sexy. You're right. I didn't have time to think. I so that. I think I'm gonna go with the spiritual. next time to find out what happened on each of these dates and watch four celebrity bachelors on the search for love all that next week on the choice <laughs>